who got the better of the deal? Me personally, I think it's the Carolina Panthers. Um, they've got a 23-year-old quarterback that I think has a lot of promise. Uh, listen, I don't blame Sam Donald for what he endured. What did he have to work with? What was the running game he had to work with? What were the receivers that he had to work with? As a matter of fact, their best receiver at one time ended up, Robbie Enzi ended up going to the Carolina Panthers anyway, if I remember correctly. And so when you look at it from that perspective, let's call it what it is. Uh, Sam Donald was contaminated by Adam Gase, who should have never been the head coach of the New York Jets to begin with. If Sam Donald was in this year's NFL draft, he would have been a top three pick. That's who you give away. You get a fourth-round pick. You get a sixth-round pick. I mean, come on now. I'm just saying he's 23 years old, and he didn't have good coaching. He didn't have a good organizational structure. The Jets are notoriously dysfunctional. Sam Donald gets a fresh start. OK, working for a coach and playing for a coach who can coach. I think we all know he can coach. All right. And the Carolina Panthers organization is just a better organization than the New York Jets. I think they win in this. Now, you can say what you want about Sam Darnold's town, everything to me. When I've watched Zach Wilson, which I've done more over the last several weeks. Oh, my God. I see what people see. He I think he is specially talented. You now have four firsts, three seconds, three thirds. Three-fourths, you have a potentially franchise quarterback in Zach Wilson, and at least you don't have three years of book on him saying, eh, it's not trending in the right direction. You don't have to pay him yet, and you have an embarrassment of riches in the draft to build around him. That's taking a shot. That's taking your swing, not getting cheated if you're the Jets. I think they did the right thing. And I think by moving Sam Darnold and taking Zach Wilson and getting a, a second, a fourth, and a sixth, they won the trade. Good job, Max. Good job. I was a little, wor I was oh. a little worried about that earlier segment, the Duran and KG. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I'm a little you worried. <laughs> I'm a little worried. But Max, you came through. This is what I would say to Stephen A. Because, yes, was Sam Darnold contaminated? Yes, he was. Um, did the Jets contaminate Sam Darnold by hiring Adam Gase? Yes, they did. But the Jets are the real winners. The Jets are the real winners because they don't have to pick up that Sam Darnold option. Because it's easy, I will say to Stephen A, it's real easy to say the Jets should definitely rehabilitate Sam and definitely, you know, try to win with Sam when your job is not on the line. Stephen A will still be on this set. He will still be here on this show, regardless of whether Sam Darnold's career goes like this or like that, or whether Zach Wilson's career goes like this or like that. Because the stakes don't, it's different when you're in that seat. This is a new G, a, a relatively new GM to this organization. He did not draft Sam Darnold. It's a new head coach in Robert Sala. They have no ties to him. Their focus is what puts us in the best situation for us to become like the Baltimore Ravens, like the like the Packers, like like very good organizations, like the Steelers, organizations that are used to perpetually winning year in and year out. That's their goal. It's not to do right by Sam and make Sam feel better. He got a raw deal. But there are a lot of QBs, a lot of players in the NFL that get a raw deal. He, Sam Darnold wins by getting out of New York. But the Jets win because they don't have to figure out how to make Sam better. Or is he the guy? They say they've identified the QB that they believe in. That's all that matters. They could be wrong or right. But they believe that we assume it's Zach Wilson. So now we're going to see the Zach Wilson show in New York. Go ahead, Freddie. As a Jets fan, believe me. I still wish Sam Donald was there. That's why oh. I think the Carolina Panthers got the better of the deal, and here's why. Kim, oh, we argued about this on your radio show. We, we did. argued about we this did. already. And okay, we did. yeah, we you know, did. Let's we certainly Let's did, go. and I have not changed my position. I'm not going to change my position. I think the Jets got the right guy in terms of Robert Sala being a head coach. And, Kimberly, I'm with you in terms of Joe Douglas and a head coach will be on the same page. Because for the last couple of years, it was the Adam Gay show. And, boy, they should have closed that show from Broadway the minute it opened up after the first night. Because that guy can not be a head coach in the NFL ever again, in my opinion. But I still believe that the Jets 
Sam Darnold got the better of this deal. I think the Carolina Panthers got the better of this deal. Mm -hmm. But I still think Sam Darnold, 23 years of age, still has a lot to go on and a lot to be playing for and also have the ability to live up to that ability. He's going to get that with Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers and Christian McCaffrey coming back yes. from injury and at least having wide receivers. So I guess I don't trust the Jets drafting Zach Wilson being that that guy's going to be a better option for you than Sam Darnold. To me, it's not all about rehabilitation. It's about a guy that believes they can still be a quality quarterback in the NFL and won't get that chance in New York, but will get that chance in Carolina. That's why I think they won the deal. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, this is where your girl comes in with the verdict, okay? Because y'all are beefing. Y'all are on two different sides. And I know this started off with Panthers versus Jets, but I think Freddie's right. The biggest winner is Sam Darnold. I mean, he had a low-key function slash party oh, yeah. when he celebrated, hey, I've got a, a, a greener pastures to go to because he has had three tumultuous seasons with a depleted roster, unstable coaching. So fly, butterfly, fly. Um, he's had two <laughs> head coaches and a GM fired while he was there with the Jets. And now he's tag teaming with who? Joe Brady, Matt Rule, very respected. You can point to your weapons. You can see him like my Stanford man, Christian McCaffrey, got DJ Moore, that synergy back with Robbie Anderson. And I think that the Panthers, on top of it, got probably the better side of this play based on, you know, Sam Darnold's upside. Three picks starting at the second round, fourth, and I believe the sixth. Not too bad for the third overall pick, you know, in, in 2018. And this is where I think it's different, Kimberly. The peer pressure is on, especially for this quarterback draft class, when it comes to the Jets. I mean, clearly they have two, and that's a great pick to have. But which quarterback will be the real winner of this overall draft class? I mean, Trevor Lawrence has an opportunity going one. Is it the quarterback that gets plug and played into Kyle Shanahan's system? Will he thrive? Will it be Zach Wilson and the Jets now finally, you know, having a new coach? on the same synergy? Will it be Matt Jones? Will it be Justin Fields? You know, Trey Lance? There's a lot of peer pressure in this quarterback class that a lot of people will look to the Jets and say, like, all right, you chose him. Was he the right guy? Because we parted with Sam Darnold for those reasons. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.